Point of no return? Uh oh. Oleander's gonna burn. Oleander. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And <laughs> you kidnapped my girlfriend. Kids, let the grown ups handle this. You tall people! <laughs> Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh oh, this looks bad. Yep, a little bit. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. Oh, good gosh. A little water. Oh no, I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. <laughs> How convenient. Oh no, and he's trying to burn the whole place down. You know, maybe it is time for us all to move on. I cured all of them. You ready to blow this popsicle stand? Oh no. Well, seeing the whole place in fire is a bit sad. Hey! Oh no! TV. <laughs> TV. Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> Great, now everyone's dead. Ah, finally. Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own side. Can't get a good grip. Let's try that. So, I know I'm supposed to pick these blocks up, but I don't know why. I'm not supposed to get rid of all of them, because he can just respawn them, right? So there must be something else I'm supposed to do, I reckon. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can walk up to that and then do something. Let's try... Oh! Fire! 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 Let's set fire to it. Smash! Good. Bye! Good, once more. Now, this has final boss vibes, but I don't think it is, because the Collective Unconscious still had one dungeon that I hadn't accessed yet. Yay! So I'm imagining now I need to jump in his brain and cure him rather than um, just destroy his brain. Raz wants to be a good guy. Super! Sneezing! Powder! Ugh. Try not to... Please have to hold it in. No! TV. TV. Oh, this is just great. Now, what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> Like I got a choice. Okay. Uh... Hi, my name's Marcel. Oh, 
Leander, but you can call me Mori or Oli. You grow up to be a big turd. Okay. The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. Rasputin, your journey has made you much wiser, so why do you still hoard your goods like a miser? The items you scavenge, the webs, the cards, the brains, just to redeem them is all that remains. So it's telling me I need to spend my stuff now. Hello. Yeah. Cobwebs turned in for cards. Oh, so he changes everything up for me. So I don't have to leave. Nice. It looks like your childhood memories of the service got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. Ew. You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Ah! Help! Ah! Alright, so I need to keep the kid alive, right? Hold still. That bunny is not holding still. There we go. Get him, child. There we go. I'm supposed to be protecting him again? Oh, where are you, you bloody shitty child? Okay, so I can collect all the fragments afterwards is what I'm thinking. I've got to... I've got to chase him quickly to make sure that he doesn't get eaten by rabbits. Stop rasputing me. Yeah, I'm coming, child. Hey, phrasing! That didn't work. He's gonna freaking die, isn't he? Where are you, child? Where the feck is he? Yeah, look, if I can't see him. Alright, throw a. Yeah, throw a knife. Throw a knife. Come on. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not going to get him to him in time. And I need to grab onto that sword as it comes back round. Okay. I know what I'm supposed to do. This is bullshit. Come on, child, quickly. Stop rasputing me. I mean, this is technically a fucking escort quest, isn't it? Let's be honest. That's why this is a piece of shit. No! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. They're not really fine, but you just can't get in. Damn it, I got ahead of myself. Nope. Screwed it again. I'm gonna have to start from the beginning again, aren't I? God damn it. <sighs> he got eaten by monstrosity bunnies. Oh, now where's he going? At least he gets restored back to full health every time. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm worried I'm too... Yeah, I thought that might be the case. I think I might have just fucked it. Yeah. Tell him to just defend himself a little bit. There's not always going to be someone there to look out for you, child. Like, why does he keep putting the frickin' bunny down? Son of a bitch. Oh, 
be there in a second, child. Just hold still for a second. Get the timing right. Okay, where are you? Quickly, child. The evil bunnies are coming. Good. Alright. So this is where I died last time, yeah? So it's simple. I just have to not die this time. Now, if I wait for that to come back round... You son of a bitch! Oh, okay, that works. Okay, that didn't work. Kid's gonna die again. Okay, his screams of pain are the worst thing. Not because I care, just because it's really fucking annoying. This is the stuff of nightmares, I know, right? With the meat everywhere, it's just gross. The whole thing is disgusting. Right, what? Are you safe now? Wait, that wasn't the main event? Are you kidding me? The big top. Mini Oleander had lots of bunnies. He was so happy to see his bunnies. But the bunnies were a little bit scared of him. He loved his bunnies and the bunnies loved him. But then one day, his big, scary, slightly gorilla looking butcher of a dad came and chopped his bunny's head off. Mate. That's all the mental cobwebs cleared. Nice. Tunnel of Love. Oh. Okay, fine. Here we go. Can I go back this way? No. Alright, fine. Let me in here. Hey, hey, little Oli. It's okay. Those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No! I think we're not. He's not safe. He's coming. Who's coming? My dad. Your dad? The butcher? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing! Nothing but food! Yeah, little bunnies. Don't run, or else daddy's gonna kill you. Uh oh. Ah! Come here, little bunny. Yeah, I'm not a bunny, dude. Okay, so I obviously need to get him stuck. That's... Standard Boss 101. Okay, I can't set him on fire. Uh... Confusion grenade? Let's try that. Eh. Okay, that doesn't work. Huh? Agent Cruller? Next time his cleaver gets stuck in the ground, run up his arm and punch him in his f nothing more to Obviously. It's like Shadow of the Colossus taught me fucking nothing. Jesus Christ. Next time his cleaver gets stuck in the ground, run up his arm and punch him in his f head. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Uh, okay, it didn't work. Uh. Bye! If I was a Smash character, I would 100% use Barry like a whip. Just saying. Got him. Who the feck What's is this? Going on here? What have you done to <gasps> our circus? Oh, is this my dad? Dad! What's it going to be, son? Die in the water? Or show me what you got! Oh, is it going to be a water chase scenario? Oh, 
Okay, my dad is fucking sprightly. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there it is. There's the water. Here we go. Don't drown. Oh my, I drowned. I don't want to play catch with you, Dad. Bollocks. Really concerned about that water. Damn it, I think I've drowned. Do I have to start from the beginning again? No! Oh, good. Son of a bitch, Dad! The meat bubbles are pretty fun. Okay, good. What the? God fucking damn it. Try this again. Oh, okay, I can't shield those. Okay, uh... For the record, I have to hold the down button to make this happen. Yeah, I don't know why... Ghost, can you shut up, please? I'm doing as best I can. Okay. I made it! You crystal ball readers always cheat! What did you call me? No, son of mine. Harsh. Holy, are you okay? Where's your dad? He's over there, talking to your dad. Ugh. I hate it when dads talk to other dads. Son of a bitch. I don't know if running up his arm is going to work now. Do not run up the flaming arm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Try TKing some of your dad's flaming. And then if he ends up, say, curled up in agony, then you can punch him in his fat head. What? <laughs> I don't really understand where I'm supposed to throw these clubs when in when I'm throwing them. In his legs. Okay. Thanks. Ugh. Bye. Uh. Yeah, fall in. Bye. Okay, are you going to explain to me what this ghost is about? Dad! Don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you, and to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic if you're psychic too? Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin, and safe. Our family has many enemies. So essentially he just jumped in and went, Are oh, you winning, son? <laughs> like, that's what happened, right? Ew. Uh, yeah. Give me all of your dad power. It's a whole new kind of dad bot. <laughs> yeah. 
Thanks, Dad. You made me massive. Kill the two-headed dad monster! Alright, I guess I just have to wait for my powers to charge up. Okay, run away now. I think I will come here now. Yeah! Screw you, dads. Wait, so the big bad in this game, Oleander, turned into a big evil man because his dad killed his pet bunny. That's pretty weak as far as uh, While you were out, I villain motivation goes. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! Mistakes have been made. But this camp is all about education. And I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. Yay! We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? Yay! <laughs> Imagine he said no. <laughs> nah, I think I'm done. Um, well, bye. What? Oh, why is she sad? Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. That's Lily's dad, right? Oh, so is this the intro for Psychonauts 2 then, I guess? Let's go. Okay, with that ending, I can see why everyone was like, everyone kept asking me if I was excited for Psychonauts 2, because that is quite exciting. That is quite an exciting ending, for sure. Look at all these people that did loads of voices. They really cut the voice budget by only having, like, a certain amount of people. Yeah, it was good. I had a lot of fun with that. I had a lot of fun with Psychonauts. And I'm glad I played it, for sure. I heard they made it easier in the Steam version, so maybe if I'd have played the original, it would have been more difficult. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, as much as I enjoyed playing it. I think my favourite world was the uh, the artist world, um, with the black and the neon colours. That aesthetic was on point, for sure. But some of the mechanics in that world, actually, in the, uh, the strategy game world, were really interesting. Actually, the mechanics in the Milkman level were really interesting as well. I think they had a really interesting approach to all of the worlds. They all felt very, very different. Um, which is why, I suppose, I can see why people again are excited for Psychonauts 2. But also, I imagine, why it took so long for it to to come out. Because they would have had to make sure that all of their ideas that they come up with were completely original again. Oh, I love it when they put a picture of the the people that worked on the game. Look at them all.
Oh, I love that. Oh, so good. I wish that had stayed for longer.